So why is the squat such a good exercise? Well, it's going to build strength. And if you use barbells, it's going to build a lot of strength. But if you don't, even using body weight, there's still a lot that you can do to improve your strength, to improve your mobility and flexibility of your knees and your ankles and your hips and your lower back. So a squat is simply just the action of kind of imagining you're sitting onto a chair and standing back up again. That's all a squat is. There's lots of different ways that we can squat. There's going to be something for everybody. It doesn't matter what standard or level you're at, there's going to be a certain level at which you can begin to squat. So, if you haven't exercised for a long while, you're a little bit older and a little bit stiffer, if you're in some kind of pain with your back or your knees, your first squat might be a very, very small squat. You might even need a wall to help you to provide a little bit of stability. As you get stronger and more mobile, you'll be able to go a little bit lower until maybe you get to a position where you can go really really low a real full squat ass to the grass as they say and then come back up so that's providing lots of flexibility lots of mobility to the hips the lumbar spine the knees the ankles that's why it's such a great exercise there's also ways in which we can change our foot position which in turn will create different hip positions which will create healthier hips if we have my feet together like so very narrow and I squat this is going to create a different reaction at my hips than if my feet were wider and toed out. I can squat a lot lower like this, but again, that's a different reaction at my hips. If my feet are slightly offset like this, this is going to create a different reaction to this. If my feet were slightly turned in, that's going to create a different reaction at my hips. And if my feet were slightly turned out, that's going to create a different reaction at my hips. So there's all these different foot positions that we can add in to the exercise that will mean that we can either find the right squat for you or it just means that we can use all of these to create lots and lots of different ways in which we can increase the strength and mobility of your hips, your spine, your knees and therefore make you not only stronger and fitter but also healthier in those joints I've just mentioned. So the squat's a great exercise, really consider it, make it a cornerstone either with weight or just body weight like I've just shown you anyone's program in the gym.